Ambassador Travel can take you there. One of the great things about the 2012 Melbourne Cup is that we've seen a, a number of syndicators have got runners, but Darren, three runners in the Melbourne Cup, uh, uh, you must be absolutely beyond your wildest dreams to get that many. Yeah, well look, it's a, it's a fantastic uh, opportunity for us uh, to have three, three horses in the race and I guess, you know, all three of them can run the two mile and um, we didn't draw too good today, but um, you know, they'll be there and they'll be hitting the line strong. Right. Well, let's start with Jackalberry. What do you think will happen from his gate? And you know, will you kick forward because it can be pretty tough down that first run to the uh, winning post? Uh, look, I can tell you, he's no chance of going forward. Um, in the Caulfield Cup, he saw plenty of the track, three wide the whole way, and uh, you know, when they sprinted the 700, he went back second last, and you know, we all felt sick. But look, he came again to hit the line well. We knew Caulfield was too short for him. He needs at least 2,800. And look, his fitness is right up to the mark now. And uh, look, even from the wide gate, he'll go back. He'll be ridden conservatively and um, he's going to be one of the horses hitting the line strong. Very good. Uh, what about Unusual Suspect? Where will it go? Well, he's drawn wide too. Um, look, he's a, he's a two-mile group one winner in America. He's a nine-year-old. He may not be going as good as he was. His run in the Mooney Valley Cup was good. Um, a couple of starts ago, he jarred up and it just put us a little bit behind. Uh, the trainer Mick Kent's pretty happy with the horse. He said he'll peak on the day, and uh, look, he's another one that'll probably go back and, and he'll be he'll be hitting the line. Last year, he ran ninth in the race, only beaten three and a half. Never really got a good crack at him. So if he can reproduce that form, he should be strong late as well. Yes, and the third runner you've got is Tacta Boystron, and um, uh, certainly uh, from 21, what's it going to do? Well, he's another horse that'll go back. Uh, this is probably out of the three horses we've only had this one since July. Um, we bought him in the middle of France in a little stable at 12. Um, you know, clearly the trainer's best horse. Um, he's never been out of France. Um, he's come to Australia, he's acclimatised well. He's not a big horse, but he's got a great big stride. So I think, you know, the plan will be once again to settle back, get into a rhythm, and hopefully he can sort of stretch out. He's got terrific form over two miles. Ambassador Travel can take you there.